Hello once again. Um, in the last video, I gave you the brief idea about uh, what is trig, the basic trig ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent, and why it is important to label all the sides uh, before you decide which trig ratio to use. Now, once you have set the equation, uh, the question arises how to solve it. For solving the trigonometric equations, solving for the sides we will talk about solving for the variable of the sides if the side is given to you and that another side is missing we can use the trig ratios to find that missing side in the next video after this we will be talking about finding the missing angle using the trig ratios but here the focus will be on missing side lengths missing side lengths that would that will be the focus here okay so um, this is how it will work and um, again uh, this is my way of interpreting uh, solving trigonometry equations if this way works for you please go for it now uh, first keep in mind that the mode needs to be in the degree we will need a calculator and you can see here i have um, I will be using one virtual calculator that I found online. I will post the link of this calculator in the description box below. So, uh, calculator should be on the degree mode. Okay. And the same thing, same rule applies here as with writing the trig ratios. Label all the sides, write down the given information, use process of elimination to decide which trig ratios to use because if you write the trig ratios wrong then the whole entire answer will be wrong third step would be to convert trigonometry functions into a decimal but how to convert it we will use calculator for that and then finally solve for the variable but how will it work let's take one example if i ask you what is sine 30 degree you might say, uh, I don't know, but we can figure it out using calculator. Let's find it out. On this calculator, um, there is a marking for sine, cosine, tangent, because I need to find out what is sine 30 degree. I will click sine, plug in 30 degrees, right there, sine 30, and then, okay, here you go. We have our answer sine 30 degrees, nothing but one half, which is equal to 0 0.5. In the same way, we will keep on trying, we will keep on plugging the, these information on our calculator to find out the missing side length. Okay, okay. Let's try a few, few questions. So um, we are starting with that we have already set up our equation and we need to find the uh, variable that is being asked for. So here's the thing. Um, this is question number one and two. You will try on your own. You need to try them. I will try um, one or two questions for you. So let's try this one. Tangent 78 degree is equal to y over 28. Uh, Let's find out what is tangent 78 degree. So for that, I will plug in my calculator on the left hand side. I will first click tangent and then I will put 7, 8, it is 78 degree and I will put press OK. And here you go. We have our value right there. And I will take this approximate value as 4.70. Then is equal to y over 28. Now to find the value of y using our algebra one skills, algebra one skills, I can cross multiply or multiply both sides by 28. Whatever works for you. Cross multiply is fun for me, so I will cross multiply these two. When I cross multiply these two, 4.70 times 28 should be equal to y plug it in your calculator 
and you will get value of y as approximately put the approximate zone because it is just an approximation get it is nothing but 131.6 let's try so i will say 4 point seven zero times twenty eight one three one point six here you go let's try one more now um the next question um we have sine sine thirty six degrees is equal to y over forty seven let's pause for a moment and think Try to plug on your own what should be the value of sine 36. Okay, let's try to plug sine. Okay. Yeah. So sine 36. 36. And I will press OK. Sine 36, I got. Okay, so we got 0.587. Okay, so the value of this is 0 0.587 is equal to y over 47. And we will follow the same drill, cross multiply. Right, if I cross multiply, I will get my approximate answer as 27.6 that is what we are looking for i solved two questions for you try these two questions on your own okay let's go and solve for a few more questions related to variables okay you need to try question number three and four try them but you will be and it would be fun first label what angle is given to you which is the opposite side which trig ratio should i use sine cosine or tangent use mnemonic soketoa process of elimination and then try them okay so let's try these two questions together First thing first, I will label it 61 degrees right here. So the opposite to 90 degree, this is hypotenuse. If I put my hand on 61, the other side that my hand will touch the another side length, it is adjacent. And the opposite to 61 degrees would be the opposite side. Okay, so labeling is done. Now comes the process of elimination. Um, in this case, hypotenuse is missing. So because hypotenuse is missing, I can't use sine, I can't use cosine. What is left? Only tangent. So tan and the degree is 61 degrees should be equal to toa means opposite over adjacent. What is opposite? Opposite is H. Adjacent is 100. Yay, we wrote the equation. Let's figure it out. Let's plug the values. Tangent 61 degrees. Okay. Let wrote it. Okay. okay, let me solve this question for you. Um, first thing first, I have to use process of elimination. And to use the process of elimination, I need to label it first. So, uh, 61 degrees right here. If I put my hand here, I will be touching two side lengths. One side length opposite to 90 degree is always hypotenuse. And the another will be adjacent. The leftover side, which I can't touch, is called the opposite. Now, process of elimination. Hypotenuse is given to us. Nah. So, no sine, no cosine. Left with only 
tangent what will be the ratio tangent 61 degrees should be equal to the variable opposite over adjacent and 100 take some time and tell me what should be the answer and i will tell you the answer in one minute okay as you can see right here on the calculator i have plugged in 61 and i got 1.804 and i will write it here 1.804 0 because it is after 4 there is another 0 h over 100 now i need to solve for the variable how oh, cross multiply so if I cross multiply these two, I will get the value of my variable. And this will be nothing but 180.40. That is the side length we are talking about. Let's do the same drill once more. First thing first, label it. So the opposite to 90 degrees is all right. That is hypotenuse. Now I need to identify which angle. They are asking about this angle 24 degrees. Let's put our hand here. It is touching two sides. My hand will touch two sides. One is but obvious it is hypotenuse. What will be the another side length? See, you guessed it right. It is called adjacent. If this is adjacent, the side length which I can't touch, that is nothing but the opposite. Now I will write all the trig, trig ratios or my mnemonic. Soketoa, soketoa. Let's see what we can use. Is hypotenuse is given to me? Yes, yes. So I can't use tangent. Now I need to decide sine or cosine. Is opposite given to us? Uh, no. So I can eliminate sine. What is left? Cosine. Let's write the equation. Cosine means adjacent over hypotenuse. And these trick ratios, they define the degrees. So cos. 24 degrees should be equal to adjacent. Adjacent is yes, 42, and hypotenuse is Z. Now be careful, they have given you the variable in the denominator, but nothing to worry about it. We will figure it out. Let's start with finding out what is cos. 24 degrees. So I will enter cos, then 24 degrees, and I am working on left hand side on the calculator. Press OK, and I got 8.913. 8.913. Let me check it again if it is 8.913. I think it is 0 0.913. Let me check. Yes, my doubt was right because it cannot be that much. So it was 0 0.913. And 42 over Z. Now, what should I do? Z is in the denominator. I will multiply these two together. So it will be 0.913z is equal to 42. Now I need to isolate the variable. To isolate the variable, what is the drill? Divide both sides by 0.913. If you do that, you will get your answer as approximately 45.97 this is what we are looking for i hope it makes sense and please 